Hi, I'm Daphne Richards. Our question this week is about tree galls. Emily Joyce Bolf and Jeremy Bolf noticed these artistic two-inch growths on their young red oak. And with a little internet sleuthing, they learned that the interesting, beautiful structures are caused by a tiny insect known as the oak apple wasp. Emily and Jeremy learned, quite correctly, that these wasps are a two-generational breeding insect. The first generation lives in their roots. Then the larva then causes these pods to form as they start feeding. I'm proud to say that Emily and Jeremy found the answer to their question by visiting one of our AgriLife Extension entomology websites, which allows me to bring up an internet searching tip for everyone. Try putting the word extension in any search that you do. For example, in this case, extension knobbly structure on my tree. You'll get a few sites that have nothing to do with trees and not connected to any land grant university extension service, but you'll also see a couple that contain the word insect in the title. This is important because if you don't have a frame of reference for this alien looking structure growing on your tree, you might easily mistake it for a fruit. And since I received many such questions this year with accompanying photos containing this, this gall and a red oak leaf asking, what is this tree and fruit? The fact that our rudimentary internet search yielded results that pushed us towards insects and away from fruit is a good one. Putting the word extension into any search will yield mostly results from land-grant university institutions and you'll more easily be able to find your answer. Just don't let your newfound power go to your head and cause you to stop reaching out to us. Our plant this week is Flame Acanthus, Anisacanthus quadrifidus variety ridei, a fabulous scientific name if there ever was one and an important one to know since this wonderful plant is also known as Hummingbird Bush, Wright's Desert Honeysuckle, Wright Acanthus, Mexican Flame, and Wright's Mexican Flame. This show-stopping deciduous shrub is a native from west and south central Texas down through northern Mexico. The brilliant bright red-orange tubular blooms arrive in late summer and last through fall, and they're a hummingbird magnet. The sloughing bark is also attractive. The native habitat of Flame Acanthus is rocky and calcareous, but it can adapt to even heavy clay soils. It's extremely drought tolerant and can survive most Texas winters. But in colder areas, it will freeze to the ground each winter, so you'll need to shear it back to the roots in late spring, just as new growth starts to reemerge from the roots. Even when it doesn't freeze back, healthy pruning each year encourages it to fill in more and be a more attractive specimen. Getting four to six feet tall and about as wide, one flame acanthus can plant plant can fill up a significant area of your garden. Be sure to plant in full sun. Our viewer pictures this week come from Thomas Graff and his fiance Serena who live in Katy. He sent great shots of Mexican turks cap, one of their favorite perennials. Since hummingbirds and butterflies love this spring to fall bloomer too, I bet they have lots of happy wildlife. In Bastrop, Chris Franklin is lucky to have two different green tree frogs hanging around and they're certainly not shy about hanging out with him. We'd love to hear from you too, so please visit us at klru.org ctg to send us your questions, pictures, and videos. Mm -hmm.